There's such an absorbing bout. I've decided to take over the commentary from here. Man. Darren Barker's been on the floor from body shots. He's landed probably the hardest single shots. Daniel Gill's tried some kidology on Darren Barker to pretend that he was really fresh and up. But he wasn't. You see him touching the canvas right when it, when um, the referee was breaking him. See him, Gill's hands touching. He was tired. But Barker's shattered as well. He took some big shots. A floor from the body shot. He's tired, but he's just pushing himself on. And it's fights like these, man. They blunt fighters. This, this One of these guys is going to get blunted by this fight. If not both of them. It's so tough. It's just a tough fight. And the fact is that they're not both concussive, concussive hitters. Like, they're just banging each other with shots. Bruising up each other's face. But... I didn't realise Gil was this tough. Didn't realise I didn't even realise Barker was this tough. Oof, they just they're just clubbing each other, man. Just exchanged it uppercuts there. Who's come off the wheel worse? It's hard to say. Savagery. Savagery. Uh, it's this is barbaric, man. Like this is the commitment you need to be a boxer. So it, it's moments like this that you really you're sort of like glad that you're a spectator rather than a boxer because okay we can all talk and say yeah he should have boxed more cautiously he should have done this and that but the thing is he is normally i wouldn't i wouldn't call him a slick boxer but he's a well schooled in that english style boxing barker is he's very well schooled but this fight here he's got to come to australia and get the title yeah and gill has got very good legs. He's got very good legs. So the English English straight left alone wouldn't be enough to get Gill's respect. And Barker's went out there on some alpha male shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? And he's really went for it. Look at his eyes. Eyes cut so badly. And I think we're going into round 11, man. Is it that bad or is it the blood? Maybe they can stem it. Yeah, Barker went out there on some alpha male shit basically and really he's really gone for it man he's landed body shots look at the body shots he's landing there like Gil is tough Gil is very tough you know what I mean I don't know how tough he'll be after this bout I don't know how tough Barker will be you know because they have absolutely look at the uppercut look exchanging uppercuts Barker came off better and Gil's chin is really good. He's got a really good chin because people can say that Barker ain't a puncher, but he's very precise. And Gill's just absorbing them. We've gone into round 11 of a savage fight, man. Of a savage fight. That's all I can say. You know, Barker's commitment <laughs> for the title is absolutely commendable. I have to say that, man. I have to say that. Yeah, like, man. He got off the floor to fight. Like, he got off the floor. Like, the commentator thought it was a low blow, but it wasn't. Eddie Cotton called it right. And Barker was roaring back at the end, and he was hurt. And he was roaring back. Like, Gil had to give ground. Like, what's the matter with this guy? You know? It's like, sometimes, is it any point doing fictional boxing movies? Because the, the truth is... They can't come close to being as brutal as the actual fights. Like, oh, Gil's just teeing off right now. And Barker's looking sloppy, man. He needs to shorten up. But how can he shorten up? He's tired. He's doing all he can. He's doing all he can. Oh, nice combination by Barker. Nice combination by Barker. Gil, he's got great legs. Like, even if he was hurt, his legs would still work. So... I haven't seen much of Gil, but his legs will give anyone trouble. His legs will give anyone trouble. That's all I can say. That's all I can say. And normally he has a pipe punch output, but Barker's matched it. And Barker's normally a, a shot picker. Barker's normally a shot picker, but Barker's matched Gil's output, and he's doing it right now. And it's just, it, it doesn't even look like. Oh, look, look at that. Both training left hooks there. Who came off worse? Barker's holding onto the neck. Gill doesn't mind him be being held. B 
Barker's driving forward. Look at him. Driving like a crazy man. This fight is bad. I'm telling you, boy. I think a lot of people had it in their head that um, Barker was one of them sort of like um, poser London lads, you know, with a slick haircut and probably wear a nice shirt and couldn't fight like this. Nah, <laughs> nah. Barker's was some alpha male. S-H-I-T right now. Let me say that now. He is going for this title. Going for it. Gunning for it. I don't know how Jim Watts still got it. If Barker's still ahead by a round or if he's got Gill ahead. Will they give Barker the decision in Australia? That cut is looking pretty bad now. And they're both trading again, man. It hasn't stopped. Incessant infighting. Incessant commitment. You see... Like I said, we can talk about slick boxing, slick boxing. And it's good if you, it's in this fight here, slick boxing, if you can do it, great, great. Because the punishment being doled out isn't no joke, isn't no joke. But like I said, he's away from home. Yeah. It, it's hard to box someone like Gil. It's, it's hard, it's hard because of his legs, it's hard. And his output, his own output. So... To try and take away his legs and slow down his legs, body shots and head shots, is commendable. It's good tactics. Now he's got one round to pull this out. Like Barker, like it's it was weird, man. I was watching the fight because I'm rooting Barker to win because he just live up the road from me, right? So I'm rooting for Barker to win. And he, he there was a tough spell in the fight where. They're exchanging and I'm saying Barker can't really hit the head clean. I mean, in, in this round. So I said, body, Barker, body, body, body. And he started throwing these four punch combinations to the body, just rattling them off. And like really good combos, man. This fight. Is this the last round? 12th round now? Yeah, man. Yeah, we're in the 12th. We're in the 12th. Excellent fight, man. Excellent fight. Barker starts, starts off with a little combination there. I think Gil, Gil's just like, whew, both men touch gloves and, whew, whew, wow, amazing fight, man, amazing fight. Look, Gil's tired, man, trust me, Gil's tired, Gil is tired, you see when he holds on and he, he, he basically, he, he doesn't even use his feet to set himself back, he just lets Barker, <coughs> he just takes Barker's momentum, you know. He's tired. He's tired. Bill Gill's tired. Barker's tired. But they're not going to give up. There's no way. Even man, he's going to stop punching. They're going to have to be put on the floor to stop punching. There's no way either man is going to stop punching. Excellent fight. Even look at Eddie Cotton. It must sweat. Or is that water or whatever. It must sweat, man. Big man, I sweat. This is a battle royale. Barker staggered from a shot there. Caught one in his elbow. Good defense by Barker. Come on, Barker, man. You need a strong finish, rude boy. Strong finish. Yeah, take back this title to the to, to, to Barnet. You know what I'm saying? Look, Gil, Gil's on his back. Bill's backing up, man. Gil's backing up. You know? That's a champion right there. Barker too tired to throw the combination. Gil just bent down like he's trying to get his breath back. They're, they're both. They're both. They're, 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 uh, both of them might be blunted after this. Both of them might be dull. The, the razors might be dulled after this and not work. Oof. Barker had to take a big right there. Be him all right, man. Darren, all right. You know what I mean? If he's took them for all 11 rounds, taking one in the, in the last stages of the fight, no big deal. No big deal. Barker's still got legs, though. Barker's still got legs. What's Barker now? Spring nine foot. What? He must have trained like... <laughs> he must have trained like whatever. Wow. Parker. This is excellent, man. This is excellent. This is excellent. Brilliant fight. Brilliant fight. Wow. He took one there. Come and stay up back, Darren. Don't get discombobulated on me. That's it. Keep frame back. Shoe shine combinations. Look at this. They won't stop. This is some puffy boxing. I mean, I thought, I thought I told him that he won't stop. Barker just coming back again. Pushing Gil back. Oh, oh he's hurt Gil. Has he hurt Gil? Oh, he looked... No, 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 no. Wow. Wow. What can I say? 
Five seconds. Barker's putting his hands up to say what? Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. I tell you what. I listen to this score and I get back to you guys. Scorecards, scorecards, scorecards. Jim Watt has it 115, 112 to Barker. Oh. You ain't going to get that decision over here. You know what I mean? That's not going to reflect on the official scorecards. I'll let him tell you that now. We go to the scorecards. It's got to be split. It's got to be split. And no. He's got <laughs> Darren Barker did it. Darren Barker did it. He did it. Darren Barker did it. I tell you what, man. I tell you what. That was a superb. Superb performance by a British boxer to bring that title back. He went to Australia, into the Lions Den, and he fought like a lion. He fought like a lion. I have nothing but props for Darren Park Barker right now. Nothing but props. And people were telling me that this fight, um, that that Nathan Cleverly had the easier job than um, Darren Barker. I knew Darren Barker could do it. I said Darren, I said it. And if you want me to pull up the video, I said he has a great chance of doing it. But whew, it was a war. It was an absolute war. Absolute war. Like Daniel Gill, he must feel gutted to lose his title under such circumstances. Barker's in tears. <laughs> I can't believe he's done it. But yo, I tell you what, man. Darren Barker, IBF, IBF middleweight champion. And he's overcome a lot. I think his brother died. You know, so he's had some tough years, injuries, and man, he wasn't going to, he he was like a dog with the bit between his teeth. It has to be said, man, that is a great victory. I, I don't know if people think I'm over-exaggerating. It's my opinion. I'm sticking by it. I'm impressed. Very impressed. Darren Barker, new IBF middleweight champion. Big up. Big up. Great fights.